Rosamond. Hey, Gary, thank you for being here. We always love having you on. It's been a little while. Uh, let's take a look at what the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and uh, our old uh, party place, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, I say that in jest, of course, uh, how they've been doing lately. They, they were off as part of that government shutdown, but they're back, at least for, for this time. Uh, talk about the initial coin offerings, or perhaps they're really called initial con offerings for some, that the SEC dealt with uh, recently with regard to unregistered securities. Sure, uh, Bart, it's good to see you again. So the SEC won a big victory at the end of last year in an enforcement action brought in the uh, Eastern District of uh, New York, that's in Brooklyn, case involving Maxim Zavzlavsky. Zavzlavsky. Uh, they, he made a motion to dismiss. Uh, the SEC prevailed. Effectively, the court upheld the SEC's view that the coin was a security. They ain't been doing so well out in California, however. There's a case called Blockfest. Uh, the SEC got a TRO towards the end of the year, but uh, Tem they couldn't get a preliminary order. injunction. Correct. They haven't been able to get a preliminary in, uh, uh, injunction, and, and uh, that was denied, and now the, the case is being reheard. The CFTC's done better. They, 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 they prevailed in their two litigations last year, one in Massachusetts, another one also in Brooklyn, uh, regarding a cryptocurrency. Uh, their jurisdiction was upheld. Uh, the cryptocurrency was held to be a commodity, and thus the CFTC could regulate uh, uh, and, and bring an enforcement action alleging anti-fraud. So, uh, are, I mean, for cryptos to be more accepted, Gary, uh, do you think these enforcement actions are sort of part and parcel to, uh, to that greater acceptance? I mean, when we know that bad actors are uh, being dealt with, even if in the case of California, not, not so much, but the CFTC is trying. Do you think that will add investor confidence uh, in the crypto space? Well, I think what will we'll, add investor confidence is actually what's happening over in Europe. Both the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority, which is the chief uh, conduct regulator of financial uh, services industry in, in the UK, and ESMA, which is sort of the pan-European regulator of financial services, both in January came out with relatively comprehensive views of, of the nature of crypto assets and how they're regulated. Unfortunately, in the United States, you're never going to see anything that comprehensive because of the way we, we regulate here. But what we really need is a, is a, a clearer statement by the SEC. Certainly, they've, they've articulated the view that most of the stuff issued in ICOs are securities, and, and likely anybody who touches these things has to comply with some element of uh, of securities regulation, but there are things out there called utility tokens, and, and their regulatory status, quite frankly, is unclear. Uh, the SEC needs to give better clarity between what is a security and what is not. Uh, and then there are the issue of the morphing securities. Something like Ether probably was a security at its initial stage offering, uh, and today it is not. So uh, we need guidance. The court are going to force the guidance because they're going to come out not consistently, is my view, as we're seeing already with the SEC actions. Uh, the, the final view is going to be what the, the regulators say uh, more specifically. You know, a lot of attorneys, I think, sort of sham attorneys. Not you. You're a lauded lawyer, uh, my friend. Uh, but I think they were given crappy uh, advice in the U.S. They were saying, ah, don't worry about it. The SEC uh, hasn't opined. But the bottom line is that under this thing called the Howey test, and we don't have enough time to get into it, but if, the, if what you're doing is by the, uh, you, the, the actions of another, you're a security. So is there still a gray zone really here, particularly at the SEC, and does that need to be be cleared up? Well, I don't think the SEC has a gray zone, and in fact, it's very interesting you should say that. I think the SEC has taken an aggressive view of Howie. Uh, I'm not sure that just because people expect profits through secondary market trading, that really does satisfy the four corners of Howie and, and, the, t and the cases thereafter. But that's the SEC's view. So I think that anybody who, who gets into this space and takes an aggressive view that something is not a security is certainly risking the SEC's wrath. And let's be frank, uh, as much of a bargain as I am, it's still expensive to retain somebody like me to fight your cause. Uh, you know, uh, again, there's an inhibiting factor going on right now. There are European countries, Malta, for example, has come up with a very, very intelligent scheme, very clearly delineating between the different types of tokens and saying what you have to do to, to comp comply with each kind of rules and regulations. We need that from the SEC. Uh, uh, we right. need some greater clarity. We need some greater, um, uh, you know, insight as to, uh, uh, into what they're thinking and why. Uh, so you are a bargain... So I agree with them completely, and if you've been following this channel, my recommendation is to 
stay in the larger cryptocurrency coins because of this issue where they could be considered a security and they're going to run into problems. But you don't have to worry about this issue if you're investing in Bitcoin. And even though uh, they've made the argument that Ethereum did start as a security, it's not considered a, a, as a security. So if you're investing in the top five, you are much more safe. And um, now that you're aware of this, it's just really important to pay attention because president's, uh, president will be set. And depending on how the SEC rules and regulates this, it will give you or give investors a much better clarity on what is a security and what is a commodity. And you basically don't want to be investing into uh, an asset where down the line they could run into trouble due to the SEC or other government regulators. So it's really important to pay attention to this and understand it. And I'll try to cover more stuff like this on the channel. Uh, but let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you guys soon.